Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. I'm fishing for perch today. Stick around and I'll show you how to catch some slob jumbo perch just like this. There's one. There's a nice little one. Just using a small jig and a technique that uh, once you see the perch come in, slowly raising the uh, hook so that you can follow it and when the perch are biting lightly helps you feel when they've actually grabbed onto the lure. If the perch ever spit up some of these water beetles go ahead and use them for bait. They work great because since that's uh, what they love to eat works especially if they're still alive and kicking right? There we go. That's a nice one. Real is old or something. Oh yeah, beauty perch. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that jumbo perch. Hook fell out. That was on that water boatman. Look at that jumbo perch. What a beauty. Like 12 inches there. Gorgeous fish. It's always good when you're perch fishing to keep handy a larger lure, something flashy. That's way uh, it'll help bring in the fish. When they're in the area, but they're not right under your hole. Especially when you're using a smaller jig. Sometimes they can't see it, you know, from over a few feet away. So usually I drill a whole uh, bunch of holes when I first come out. You know, when you see a lot of people ice fishing, they drill two or four holes in a close area. Well, I'll try to cover structure. To find the pieces of structure that I actually want to fish. So I'll usually drill lines of holes, you know, 10, 15, 20 holes in a row, and then uh, diagonally maybe another direction across the same structure. And when I'll fish hole to hole really quickly and find out where those fish are lying and the depths that I want to fish. When I've found some fish, then I uh, drill some more holes along that area of the structure or along that depth range because I expect to find more fish there. When you don't have a water boatman, my favorite bait to use for perch is either mealworms or maggots. There's two down there. It always helps when there's two fish around. They kind of compete with the hook. There we go. Sometimes you almost have to imagine. Look at that beautiful perch. Sometimes for perch you almost have to imagine the bite, you know. If anything changes, set that hook and you'll catch beautiful jumbo perch. Just like that. The other thing is, if you did see a perch down there, and there are two, get that hook back down there in quick fashion. Because the other one might be sticking around and is still in that competitive mood and will grab that hook. This is a jaw jacker. This is my review. I've been using it for a few years now and I'm very impressed with these things. I've caught a lot of fish on it and most days it outfishes me. 